Valor sleeps. The service men and women resting at this cemetery live, serve, and sacrifice upholding the values that make our country great. For 28 years, our friends and neighbors have gathered at this sacred place to pay our respect to our valiant heroes. The final home to Americans from every part of this great county who gave their lives in every corner of the globe. From the jungles of Vietnam to the deserts of Iraq, they stepped forward to answer the call for all of us. They fought for a home they might never return to. They fought for buddies they will never forget. And while their stories may be separated, by tens of years and thousands of miles. Here they rest, together, side by side, row by row, because each of them loved this country. They loved this country and everything that it stood for and stands for greater than life itself. President John F. Kennedy told us, a nation reveals itself not only by the men it produces, but also by the men and women it honors and remembers. Today, we remember our Atlanta County fallen heroes, some of whom are buried right here, who made that ultimate sacrifice. We remember from World War II Private First Class George Scott, United States Marines. From Korea, we remember Lieutenant Robert Gaiman, 8th Fighter Squadron, United States Air Force. From Vietnam, First Lieutenant Arthur Abramov, United States Air Force, and from Iraq, Specialist Eric Rivera, 1st Infantry Division, United States Army. Our nation is free because of brave Americans like these who volunteer to confront our enemies abroad so we don't have to face them here at home. While our nation mourns the loss of men and women in uniform, we will honor them by completing the mission for which they gave their lives, by defeating terrorists, by advancing the cause of liberty, and by laying the foundation for peace for a generation of Americans yet to come. Although Memorial Day is a solemn day of mourning, it is also a day, I believe, of reverent celebration. We can take pride that we have living heroes right here in Atlanta County, right here for us to celebrate, friends, neighbors, loved ones. We are blessed with so many of these local heroes, I cannot name them all, but I will name a few. Sergeant Al Matthews, United States Army, Pearl Harbor. Seaman Dick Squires, Battleship, USS Wisconsin, Korea. Corporal Marco Polo Smigliani, 1st Battalion, 3rd Marines, Operation Dewey Canyon, Vietnam. Lance Corporal John Rush, 5th Marine Division, Phu Bai, Vietnam. Specialist Bob Frollo, 39th Cavalry Division, Mekon River, Vietnam. Staff Sergeant Bernie Friedenberg, 1st Battalion, 1st Infantry Division, Omaha Beach. Petty Officer 2nd Class Fred Vineyard, United States Navy, Operation Frequent Wind, Vietnam. Specialist Ed Afanador, 1st of the 114th U.S. Army. Command Chief Sergeant Michael Francis, 177 Fighter Wing, Operation Iraqi Freedom. The list of local heroes does not end there. This list goes on and on, and I would ask for all of my fellow veterans to please stand up. Please, right now, I'd ask you to stand up and be recognized and deserve and receive that celebration. All of these brave men and women here with us today from our own neighborhoods either volunteered or accepted the call to serve fully knowing the challenges and dangers that awaited them. They went off to war dedicating their lives not to conflict or death, but to peace and life. They left the safety of their home to defeat our enemies, ensure justice, and fulfill the promise of safety and security not just for our country, but they did it for the world. President Abraham Lincoln, he reminded us, honor the soldier and sailor everywhere who bravely bears his country cause. But he also told us, honor the citizen who cares for his brother 
in the field and serves as best he can the same cause. So today, we also honor and remember those citizens who have cared for their brothers in the field, men and women like Tom O'Donnell, Donna Clementoni, Joe Carney, and Lee Darby. We also honor those whose only connection to the military is not by service, nor by kinship, but by citizenship. And yet their devotion equals that of those who serve. Local heroes like April Kaufman. It is time we rightly honor her service to our community, our veterans, and our country by bringing her killer to justice. As we leave here today, let us remember the valor that comes to the simple words of a young Marine. In 2003, 19-year-old private Diego Rincon rode home to his mother from Iraq. Dear Mom, whether I make it or not, it's all part of the plan. It can't be changed, only completed. Mother will be the last words that I'll say. Your face will be the last picture that goes through my eyes. I just hope you're proud of what I'm doing and have faith in my decisions. I will try hard and not give up. I just want to say I'm sorry for anything I've ever done wrong. And I'm doing it all for you, Mom. I love you. Diego never did make it home from Iraq. But today, we honor his memory with the request he made to his mother. Be proud of what he did. Have faith in his decisions. Through remembrance, America will remain the world's beacon of freedom. We will continue to represent the aspiration and hope of millions of people that through hard work, perseverance, anyone can succeed in a fair and just society. God bless all of you. God bless America. Thank you very much.